me when to stop. So Terry and I have done a few artist residencies and we figured out that when we cross the border, the best way to describe an artist residency is to say that you're going to art camp. Uh, and one of the things that surprised us with Oxbow is that it might actually be true because there's tons of things here that are quintessentially camp-like. Uh, there's the docks and the canoes and swimming and cabins. There's even a bell that rings for dinner. Everything reminds me of, of kind of going to camp as a kid. One of the other things I love about here is how everything's handmade, which, you know, of course it would be. Uh, but there's all kinds of surprises that you find, like tiles in the washroom that are cast and handmade. And Yeah, I mean, in terms of the handmade, there are a lot of handmade signs. So far, the weather has been like classic summer, just gorgeous, sunny, a little bit of a thunder thunderstorm the first day, but uh, lots of sunshine, 80 degrees, not too hot, perfect. We were talking about um, Americans, you know, and they're, you know, we're kind of similar, but there are some differences. And one thing that we find with Americans is that they're super industrious. And I think in Canada, things, I don't know, we don't maybe think quite as big and maybe aren't quite as ambitious by nature. And there's this kind of um, character of being able to reinvent things from the ground up and a real kind of DIY culture where in Canada, things are a bit more institutional, which has tons of benefits too. But uh, yeah, we love that about here. For me, the industriousness, there's something weird and kind of maybe magical, might be overstating it, about being on a residency. And I we've. Think they're magical? Sure. They're not Harry Potter magical, but they're, they're, uh, they're magical in their own magic way. Uh, tonight is the night of our class's iron pour. It's all the fire arts getting together, but there's a fire, so we're all getting together. <laughs> um, I was surprised to see that uh, people who work in a foundry smoke so much. Um, the, it's just an anecdotal thing that I noticed, but uh, it's, a, it's an observation. It's not scientific, but it seems to me like there's a lot of smokers up there, and there is an affinity to fire somehow. Well, you can always find a light. That's what I thought. You can always, uh, if you're a smoker in a foundry, first of all, A, no one's going to say no smoking here because everything is it's smoky. It's, it's literally smoking. Uh, the ground is on fire. Um, 
And yeah, so it's kosher to smoke. And you're right, you can always find a light. I loved how it was, uh, how they made it out of the garbage can. And Dan talked about that, that he didn't want to have this kind of high-end furnace. You know, he wanted to demonstrate that this kind of stuff is accessible, that you can build this rudimentary uh, furnace and do it yourself. This morning, um, they opened up the, uh, the, the molds and they had two frying pans in there. And I thought this was sort of an artist gesture, like, you know, kind of a joke, like we're gonna make a cast iron yeah, the pan. Duchamp it was a Duchampian uh, cast iron, cast iron frying pan. <laughs> Uh, but it, I don't think it was. I think they needed a frying pan in the kitchen. residencies has allowed us to travel to places that we would not necessarily have gone. You get to experience a place not as a tourist. But you do come home and you're more tired, which is another thing about residencies. I find that I'm often tired. Uh, they're kind of overwhelming. There's kind of so much to take in. Tons of new people. You're learning and seeing new techniques. Uh, and it's a full schedule, you know, breakfast is at eight and I'm a morning person, so I'm usually awake, but, uh, you know, it kind of goes full steam and then there's usually something going, going on in the evening too. And I'm the kind of person who doesn't want to miss out on anything. So I, I, I want to go to most of the stuff or at least try to. Um, so I do find that, that there's this kind of tension between, you know, really excited and, um, stimulated but also almost, yeah, a little bit overwhelmed because you're just trying to absorb everything and you feel a little bit like bloated with it all or something. Art bloat, I believe is the term. You've got art bloat, Tara. You got it bad. <laughs> we won't put that in. You can put it in. You're like two bit comments. <laughs> Basically, you know, residencies, what we have found is residencies can sustain our work for a couple of years, essentially. So we'll go to a residency and we'll still be not maybe using the work, but we'll still be tapping into kind of what we did or what we learned or who we met at that residency. Um, so they're, they're powerful. You may not realize it at the time, but when you leave, you're like, holy shit. That was intense. <laughs> 